The Sixth Sunday After Pentecost, Year C, from the book of the prophet Amos. This is what the Lord God showed me, a basket of summer fruit. In the name of the God of all harvests, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week ask us to assess what we have in our baskets. God shows Amos a basket of summer fruit, and that image brings together burial practices, temple offerings, and the ethics of the marketplace, indicating that we will be held to account for our behavior in not just one, but in all of these situations. When Martha welcomes Jesus into her home, her sister Mary is there too. When Martha becomes distracted by the tasks that prevent her from sitting at Jesus' feet as her sister does, she asks Jesus to intervene. Jesus' response, I would argue, is not so much about the relative merits of contemplation and action as it is, like Amos' vision, about the call for congruence between the way we behave toward God and the way we behave toward our kindred. By expecting Mary to earn her keep, sharing in the distraction of work instead of sitting to listen to Jesus' words, Martha fails in the very hospitality she is laboring to offer, as much as she would if she were to snatch a portion of good food out of her sister's hands. Martha thinks to offer hospitality, but what she actually seeks to share is a portion of her own distraction. Because Jesus is there in the house not simply to rest and to eat, but primarily to teach, Martha's attempt to distract Mary is likewise denying Jesus the good portion of a disciple. What do you have in your offering basket? Our psalmist reminds us that God welcomes us like green olive trees in the house of God. Can our basket boast of the ripe olives of thanks and public praise? The letter to the Colossians reminds us that Jesus' own basket is filled with our own reconciled souls. Is our basket likewise filled with the ripe fruit of reconciliation? Let us choose the good portion of wisdom. Let us both know and proclaim that the hospitality of God has welcomed us into a world in which all things have been created through God and for God, and that we must therefore be distracted by no division between the world of work and the world of worship. We're all of us here in one and the same basket. Let us lift up that basket as an offering to God. In the name of that same God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>